the first day that I came here, I was looking around and I'm like, um, it seems a little bit smaller than what I expected. But I didn't make a judgment. And then when everybody was here, I changed my opinion to, wow, you know, there's a lot of talent here. Which, which just goes to show that you can't judge a book by the cover. Um, there's a lot of history on the walls. There's a lot of history from the, um, the uh, wrestlers. You know, they can tell you a lot of stuff that they've been through that you haven't gone through yet. So it, it's, it's kind of wild. Um, I'll go home and I can smell this building on my gear, you know. I can smell the building. The, the smell, it's, it's weird, it's like a, a musty kind of uh, gymnasium smell. It, it's kind of like sweat, blood, tears, that's what you get here. And um, I, I personally personally like it, you know. What goes on in training? What basically goes on in training is the guys work on the stuff that they need to work on, uh, certain moves. Um, basically, a lot of it's repetition. Uh, practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes permanent. Come on! Too soon. Making it look as real as possible. The key is, be here. The fans are so close that actually they have to be a lot tighter than what you would see on TV. Some of them guys, you can see them throwing stupid ass slappy punches. They look horrible. Most of them, all of my punches connect. They don't miss. They don't miss ever. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the key is to make them look as real as possible. Now, as you see, Mr. Pretty Boy there, his punches are looking pretty crappy. You know what I'm saying? His are looking good. Titans is looking good. Wild man, his is looking wild. Uh, Klein just needs to concentrate more. He's all up here. He can't stop thinking about it. I just said yours was okay. Looks like crap, right? All right, now I'm gonna hit him with, with him. Right? Okay, you see the difference. If you're in there against a crappy, yeah, but you don't, want to, you don't want to be throwing punches like this either and expect him to be more. No, no, no. But, but, you, you can you can say punch, 75% of yeah, it is the other guy. Yeah. He just Most of it's technique. Up. Right? But if I don't care if I'd have the, the best looking ones of all. You know, if I don't have him, they're going, oh! You know, it, it makes no sense. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Good, good, good. Alright, we ain't gotten 20 takes now. So. <laughs> no, basic, his basic generic, you know, I'm going to kick your ass tonight and get done with you and I'm going to leave the building, so. I'm probably going to go look at my higher next saying that it's so. just a challenge. Just another challenge for me. Tonight I have Robbie Page tonight in the match. He seems to think it's going to be a cakewalk for him tonight. Well, that's not so. See, he, I, I, I prize him as one of being... You know, maybe my competition, I'm going to go again. Hold on. Don't worry, we're not rolling. Don't worry, Or, you know, it's been tough matches. See, I don't see in the... Man. Alright. Go. You're going to have to work tougher, harder, and faster than you ever did tonight. Ah, oh, fuck. Go ahead, start over again. I'm trying to... He seems to think he's tougher than me. We've had matches before, and I've came close to beating him. Tell you what, Robbie Page. Somebody, Robbie Page. Ah, fuck. Try to keep it simple. Try yeah. not to go off on too many things. Like I said, Robbie Page, you're a tough guy. Yeah. You know, you're a skilled amateur wrestler. You know what you're doing. You're a shoot fighter. Tonight, you're gonna have one of the toughest fights on your hand. Tonight, you got to show these people that you're tougher than me, and I don't think you got that. Okay. You know, keep it real simple. Keep it. Keep it where. It, it, it's tough. Yeah. He's a tough dude, but you're tougher. Tonight you're going to show the people you're tougher. That's why you're going to walk away with, as a winner of the match. All right. Let's go ahead and roll. Don't worry about the time. Just go ahead. Uh, if it's short, we're just going to go with what you got. Don't worry about the time.
going to forget who you are. This, this is acting now. This is like you're getting up on a stage, you know? you gotta, you got to get in your mind what your character is, who you are. If you're shy by nature, you, you got to get over that. You forget that. You put all that stuff aside. You become somebody different when you step in there. If your character is different from you, it's so much easier to play that. Because, you know, you know how to be different from yourself. But if you're trying to play the same character that you are, it's a little bit harder because it's like, you know, I'm just me and I, I don't feel any different. You need to be free, like a sense of freedom. You know, be who I want to be, not be what my mother wants me to be. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of weird, well, but... What, do you, what does your mom want you to be? <sighs> Basically, Lim is proper. Is that what she is? Far from it. When I come out, I want to be completely different from that, that mellow, respectful uh, person that I really am. And I want to be this just charismatic, conceited, I can do whatever I want in the ring, I'm a superstar, you know? Before I put on these tights, I'm ready. Once these tights come on, I become Jack King, that's how it is. It's like I'm a totally different person, and that life outside doesn't mean anything. This is a new man right here. This is a new man. Jack King is gonna take you down! And when I lock on my crippler cross face, there won't be no more old school. Like everything that you used to hate with the character you're bringing out now, it's like you're trying to you're trying to draw that out of them. Woo, you see it? You see it. Drop it! Drop it! Hey! Because like <clears throat> when you were prodigy, you were just kind of like, hey, I'm black, but I'm a good wrestler. And now you're like, I'm John King, I'm black, and I want you to hate me because I'm black. No, first I'm of all. I'm proud of being from Africa. What you don't understand, because some things you don't have to deal with, is the fact is I am black. So every day I go out there, I hear the fact that I'm black. I hear the fact that I used to be a slave. My ancestors used to be slaves. I hear that fact every day. So as a good guy, as being prodigy, I never could face the fact that he was calling me this. I had to agree with him and say, all right, people, thank you. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm here, I'm supporting you, you know what I mean? Now that I'm Ja King, I can face the fact. I can say something back. I can fight for my own um, race. Let's get the group of the so. heels together, too. You guys are shit all the heels only because it the works. of the Royal Rumble. If you are a heel, which, you know, would be the guy that they don't like, you want to come out and you want to talk trash. You want to get them riled up, you know. They, they want to see you get hurt now. You need to go back to the jungle where he came from. Everybody, jaw king. Thank you. USA! 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 How do you deal with that? You just got to. My opinion is, you know, good job, Reggie, you know, you, you did what you were supposed to do, which was make them not like him. But it takes a real person for you to hate. Like, this was my former tag team partner. We were best friends or whatever. We were, we were good guys or whatever. Now, it's no more us. Now I'm on this side of the bridge, he's on the other side of the bridge. So sometimes it's hard because it's what we call kayfabe. When we're standing next to each other right now, we do that outside, we get in trouble for that. Because we're not supposed to like each other. It's, it's, it's hard to tell us. <laughs> Professional wrestling, it's, it's entertainment. You know, it's entertainment. A lot of people would say, oh, professional wrestling's fake, which is completely untrue. Like they said on TV before, if you think wrestling is fake, try it just one time. chop you and smack my own hands or something like that. We don't do none of that here. You, you, you chop me, you're chopping me. My chest hurts. It hurts a lot. <laughs> Look at this. Look, come here. All kinds of bruises and shit. But when you're in the ring and you, you do a suplex, you feel that suplex. Mm -hmm. You know, that's wood underneath that mat. Mm -hmm. Come on, Izzy! Come on, Frank! Come on, Frank! Come on, Frank! 
I'm out there. First, I'm like all nervous and I like, clam up, and the crowd starts chanting, and it just kind of gets in you, and I love it. Proper for a woman to scream or yell, and you know, just this and that. So I can oh, actually man. be the way oh, I want to be without, you know, without my mom oh. having to say, Oh, well, that's not proper. Like, you know, something it's wrestling. No one cares. <laughs> watch it, Frank. Watch it, watch it, watch it. I'm actually married to a freak. Sometimes sometimes soon we'll be together for three years. That's, that's, that's cool. And then July 8th we we'll would be married for two years. <laughs> yeah, come on. I got you. Let's go. <laughs> come on. I won. <laughs> I haven't been to any other place except for House of Pain, and I wouldn't leave it for the world. Well, the weather outside is frightful. That's why my wrestling is so delightful. Chris Klein, pretty boy, Chris Klein. I only know two types of boys. That's a cowboy and a paper boy. And neither of the two combined can get the job done that you have lined up for you tonight. You're a cruiserweight son. Yes, the cruiserweight champion. But you're going up against the NWL heavyweight champion. And like my grandfather used to say, as you ramble on through life and whatever may be your goal, keep your eyes upon the donut and not upon the hole. So with that, Chris Klein, go get yourself a pack of Dunkin' Donuts. Gobble them down, put them some extra weight. You're going to need it, because I'm going to kick your ass tonight. So that's what it's like to do all this work, all the preparation, all the training, come here, take hours to set up for a show, get everything ready, cover expenses, hopefully we sell them tickets. And we go out there for about 10 minutes work. And it's time. Let's show what kind of shape you're in. You always have to puff in afterwards.